Hello, Ryan here from BGradeCyclist.com. I just wanted to share with you a cool little moment I had at the John BT Memorial Handicap last weekend out at Oakville. We were racing five laps of the Oakville circuit, and this is actually a race I won last year. This year, I started in a small group. We worked well together. We started seven minutes behind limit, eight minutes in front of Scratch, and Scratch was made up of just one rider, one Ben Dyball. More on him a little bit later, but here you see as soon as we've been caught by Emir Micinovic, so Emir is the rider in front here, who is a former Olympic canoeist. As soon as he caught us, there was really just one tactic, which was to hold his wheel. He's got a massive engine and he was just murdering along. So from that moment on, I was just trying to hang onto his wheel and let him tow me and the rest of the guys to the finish. And though he was motoring along, that was nothing compared to Ben Dyball, who simply mowed down everyone in his wake. He's caught us here. I've sprinted to the front of our group just to get a chance of hanging onto his wheel. And you can see here, I've sprinted onto his wheel as we crest the climb for the final time. Ben Dyball, look how lean he is. This is a former winner of the Tour of Tasmania. This year's winner of the Tour of Thailand. Former national bronze medalist in the individual time trial. And silver medalist at the Oceania individual time trial. And I was having a really tough time just holding his wheel. Like this guy's got a massive engine, but look how aerodynamic he gets. It's basically got nothing to him, so you don't get much of a draft, and even if I did, I mean, it's just going so fast that a humble little club rider like me could barely hold his wheel for a minute. Here he looks up, sees that there's a few of us hanging on him, just sitting on his wheel. He sits up, and bang, goes. Just one acceleration, and that is more than enough to shell me and the rest of the guys. But that was quite an experience. To be able to sit on the wheel of Ben Dybo, look at him, just takes one look, two looks, doesn't want these plebs sitting on his wheel, so bang, off he goes. There's no way I could have matched that, that acceleration, especially after he'd had me in the hurt box for a minute just trying to sit on his wheel. To be honest, he didn't need to accelerate away like that. I mean, if he just continued at that pace, he would have dropped me in another minute or so. Anyway, after he dropped us, it was just a matter of, again, business as usual, sitting on Emir's wheel as he dragged us back past some of the front markers. But that experience of being able to race with Ben Dyball, even if it was just for a minute to sit on his wheel, that's quite something else. I mean, this guy is one of the top riders in Australia. He's knocking on the door of a professional contract. It's basically like turning up to your local athletics meet and getting to sprint against Usain Bolt. I mean, I was just in awe and it was such a great experience. Anyway, we ended up sprinting for fifth place. Dybor managed to catch Limit just on that final corner and he took the win. As for me, Emir let out this final sprint. He'd cooked himself and I'd just been sitting on his wheel. So to be fair, this sprint wasn't really a head-to-head -head sprint with him. It was me and Pete Jeffers, and I managed to get around Pete to take fifth place on the day, which is a nice result, but awesome to be able to have my name on the same trophy as someone as talented as Ben Dyball. That was just a really cool experience to race with him and be dropped by him. Just want to share that with you. And I'll see you at the next race. Thanks for watching.